In this tutorial I want to show you how to work with the browser in Infinite Pro. Normally you start with your host and uh, select a preset you like. Whatever. And um, uh, do your changes, let's say. Add some noise or you can also work with the sign resources. Let's say I increase the gain here. Okay. Then you record your stuff and in the end when you close the the host uh, you save everything in the host project. That's the easiest way to go. But if you want to um, collect your favorite programs in a special list so you can find them easy or you, you have uh, different themes of uh, sounds and so on, you can work very nice with the, with the browser we have here. Um, first, uh, before you start making your own presets, you should uh, select uh, your name here okay let's so uh, and now you see you have this uh, this main list where you have the presets of this bank you have uh, a number of ppg banks and you have your own banks or whatever things here. So uh, I had started with one bank and here I have a second list um, where I can collect my new sounds. So uh, maybe I start with, with a sound here and okay maybe I just want to copy it into the to the new list here, the, the, my own list, so I go copy to target and you see that the, the number here increases each time I add one there. Okay. Now, uh, if I want to make uh, my own program or if I change one preset Do something here. Okay. Then uh, you uh, in this main menu you have save program, save as program. So if I want to save the program, okay, it tells me this is a PBG program, which you so shouldn't uh, change. Uh, I can change a number here, let's say 4. Okay, now I have a, my own preset. And this new preset is added at the end of the list here. You've seen this, this is my new preset with my author string Wolfgang. And now I can copy this into the new list also. Okay. So that's the thing you work. And if you have uh, done a collection here, you can select this bank into your browser and go on working from here. Okay, now the nice thing in this uh, browser is that you have several filters here. Okay, I take again the factories because it has so many different kinds of stuff. Uh, one thing is I can select for the author. Let's say I want this one. Now it only shows me the programs from Rauschwerk. Or oh, whatever. Jean-Luc Nest. So you can select uh, for author. You also can 
sort your programs uh, alphabetic order you see or you can um, select for uh, categories yeah we have only a few bass sounds it looks <laughs> and so on. Uh, one other nice thing, maybe I go back to my own list, list now. Uh, you can uh, sort your programs manually when you go to this uh, thing, statistic numbers. Um, you have the numbers here and uh, if you change them then you can move the programs to other places. Okay. Also, you can use here uh, ratings, so you can uh, set your ratings for your programs. And uh, if you have done that, you can uh, filter by ratings. Don't forget to save your list. You see, when this LED here is burning, then you have changed the list and you have to save the list. The, the, this means that you only save this list, not the presets. The presets are in a big pool um, and the list only shows you a part of this pool. That's, that's the principle here. So if I now uh, do this sort by rating, then you see the, the highest ratings are at the end here. Yeah, so that's the basic thing about the browser, I hope you, it helps you working uh, efficiently with the system. Thanks, bye bye.